So now I'm going to start to sack the horse out. Is my goal to get the blanket on the horse? No. My goal is to get him more responsive to the bridle. Okay? Your horses, my horses, are going to spook, aren't they? When we get on them, whether it's in the first day or the first 30 days or the first 360 days or 720 days or 1,440 days, He's going to spook, isn't he? When he spooks, I'm going to use the bridle. Now, unfortunately, this horse is going to become comfortable with this blanket. That's the sad part. Eventually, he is going to become very comfortable with this blanket going all over him. When he does that, then it's useless to me. Because I'm not trying to get him used to the blanket. I'm trying to teach him when he spooks to respond to the bridle. Okay, does that make sense? Everything is with, I'm, my seat is in that saddle and this sucker is spooking and I need control of him, right? So that's what I'm thinking. So I start here. If he doesn't move with the blanket, great. You know, not really great, but I don't try to make him move with the blanket. And so, but if he moves, then what I do is I use the exercises that I've taught him and I practice that. I practice what I have taught him, and so, which is with the bridle. So if I take the blanket up here and he moves, I don't think about the blanket. What I think about are the exercises that we have practiced, moving diagonally, dropping your head, softening on the bridle, moving your hips around, okay? So the blanket is only an opportunity for me to work on things that I have already taught him. When the horse is not afraid of the blanket, then if, look at it this way. If I put the blanket up here and hips around, now hips back. No. Hips around and hips back. If I put the blanket up here and the horse does not move, does he become more responsive to the bridle? He doesn't, does he? So when he stands here, it's actually a disadvantage, isn't it? Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get him more responsive to this thing, this bridle down here, so when I'm up here, you know that the horse will respond to it. So that's what I'm trying to do. I don't try to make him move. I just use the opportunity when he does move. Am I mad at him when he moves? Of course not. I think it's a great thing because I get to practice the very things I want to practice. I want his head to drop. I want his head nice and soft on the bridle. I want him to step over with his hips. So there's no anger in me at all, is there? I'm not aggravated with my horse because he moves. Every time he moves makes it safer for me to be on top of him. I like that. <laughs> And I'm going to get him softer to the bridle. Good for you. Good. Much better. Good for you. So if he moves, I just counter move. He chooses forward, I say move your hips to the right. If he moves back, I say take your hips forward. If he moves forward, I'll say take your shoulders to the right or take your shoulders to the left. I just pick out a direction and exercise that we've already practiced and I just counter move and have him move a different direction. Okay?
Not really a big deal to sack out a horse, is it? 